Hey guys, in this video, we will learn about cross-referencing in LaTeX. So I will use two documents. I will cite them up. And when I click on the site, it will take you to the main reference of that page. So basically the bibliography part. So in order to do this practically, we will head over to Overleaf. Overleaf is basically used for uh, having LaTeX online. So I'll go to Overleaf and I'll log in with Google. It's very easy to create an account on Overleaf. You can log in with your Gmail account or an institution. So after coming to Overleaf, now what I'll do, I'll just decrease the site. I'll create a new project and I'll name it as Cross Citation. Okay, so I'll create this project. And now on this project, it has taken my name and it has taken the title. And I'll just increase a size little more for you. Yeah. So now what I'll do, instead of writing my name, or uh, let's write statistics explained here. And uh, not working on so in order to actually create cross referencing, I will need a notepad file also, which I will save as a bibliography file, bib text, so that LaTeX knows that I am going to put references from this. So for right now, I'll just take it down and and now I will use some packages. So, in order to have uh, cross referencing, I use packages of hyperref, which basically link the citation, in text citation to the main citations, bibliography, and then NADBIP, which actually is used for bibliography in LaTeX. So, let's go and install these packages. So, I'll write here NADBIP, and I'll choose this one. Another package which I said I will be using is hyperref. So we'll go here and we'll write hyperref. All right. And now what I will do, I will go to uh, before end document, I will write two more things. That is, one is my bibliography style. So I'll write bibliography. And this is just in the end. So bibliography style, I'll choose APA like. Because API is well known referencing. So I'll write API like and then I will also write bibliography. And here I will write the name of the file which I'm going to save. So basically the bib text file which is here is this in note. So what I will write, I will write references. So what I will do, I will save this file, this file which I'm going to make in the notepad as references dot bib and I will upload it in our project. So let's grab some citations. So I will go to science direct since science direct is mostly used for getting the best readable papers and more insightful papers and I'll write my topic that is fit. So from here I will choose two okay two papers. I'll choose this one and then I will choose this one. So we can choose one more. Uh, let's go for it. All right. So this is the first paper I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to site and I'm going to export citation to bib text because I want to create a bib. So I will open this and I will control A and control C. So basically I will copy everything in this file. I'll close this and I will save this in my file. That is the another notepad file which I am creating for having all the citations together in one file. So I'll press enter so that I can make another entry to this file. I just go this down and then I will go to this one. So this is the second paper. And from the first paper, uh, before going to second one, I have jumped to first paper again. I'll copy this line. So uh, assuming that I want to cite this line in my thesis. So 
Now what I'll do, I'll go to introduction and I'll copy this. And I know I will be putting citation for the first paper in this. So I'll just uh, give a clear page here so that my next line comes on the next page. That is the second paper which I'm going to use. So let's go to the second paper. And this is the second paper. I'm going to go to site. Again, I'm going to go to web text citation. I'm going to export it and I'm going to copy this all. I have copied this and now I'm putting it again back to the same notepad file which I'm making for references and uploading to my project. So I have done this and for the second one, suppose I I just copy this line and I'm going to cite this line. I'm just assuming that this author has said this line and this is important. I'm going to cite this. All right. So now on the second page, what I'm going to do, I am going to have two citations together. So I'll just give V space 10 PT. V space 10 PT basically does what it actually puts some space of 10 points in your document so the next line will come after this and here i'm going to put citation for my second document now let's grab something from the third one so from the third document suppose i'll just going to cite this line so i'll copy this put it back into my document and i'm going to give a citation that is third citation to this document all right for the third one again i'll just go to cite I'll export WebDev citation, open this file, copy this, and then I'll add it to my file. Now that I have all the citations in my notepad, I will save this. I'll just to save save as, and I will save this as references. Dot yeah, this name. All right, so I have saved this file now. And I'll close this. And now I'm going to upload that file which I have just made to this folder where exactly I am working. So I'll just upload this. Now I have a big text file here. And this is the first one that is Khan. Then I have another which we downloaded that is Onrato, some code for this one. Let's see, yeah, Onato, Onato, Onato it is. All right. And uh, then for the third one, let's see, when. So, uh, just see, this is when. All right, I have all three of them. Now I'll go to my main text file where I was working and I have to put site. In order to cite thing, this, I'll write cite. And this one was from fun first paper, which was Khan. Now, the another one that is second, I have to cite this also. So what I'll do, I'll again write site. And this time, I'm going to choose the second paper. And then coming to the third one, I'll again write site. I'll choose this. And now this is the third. So now what I have done, I have given my text, which I'm going to cite from different authors. I have written the citations, in-text citations. And I have also uploaded the bibliography file, which is going to put references for me. I have given bibliography APA like so that I have a APA like uh, citations, basically the referencing in the format from A to Z. So let's recompile this document and see what has happened. And uh, this is how exactly you do citations in between your texts. So if you see, I have given clear page after my first citation so that you you can have you know that basically we are using citation index citation at different pieces so this is the first citation which i have given now if you go to the second one you can see here i have second citation and third one here also references so what i'll do i'll take references to the next page so that it looks more elegant now, references will be on the another page. So I'll just recompile this and show you how exactly it looks now. So, references is on next page. All right. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll put no indent here 
So now if, if you see, it has recompiled this. And uh, what I'll do, I'll take this one also on the left so that it does not have indentation anyways. So I'll write, again, no indent here. Also, and I'll recompile this. I'll just uh, close this one so that you can have a better view of this. And I'll just make it, make it more. All right. So basically, I just want to show you the PDF, how exactly it has come. So I, we have done cross citation. One citation is here. Another one is here and third one is here. And then our references in API. If I click any of them, so suppose I am reading here and I just clicked on this, it will take me to, and if I click on this one, it will again take me to Honorato. And if I click on when, then it will take me to this section. So basically what it has done, it will take you to that citation which you are reading. So suppose you are reading this uh, statement from this paper and you know that uh, this statement is good and you want to know exactly what source it is, then you just have to click here and it will. So this is basically cross citation. And uh, this is the way actually people make it. So I'll show you the code one more time. So these were the codes we actually use to make this citation. And uh, this is the best way to actually cite everything you want in your uh, text. Alright, I think uh, that is all for this video. Thank you. Take care.